Hello again. Uh, time for an, another installment of our St. Augustine's e-tours. Today I'll be taking you through the All Souls Chapel and Columbarium, which is located underneath the church. Here we go. Now, in regular times, we leave this chapel unlocked during the day, so anyone can come in for private prayer and reflection. To start with, the columbarium is a place where ashes can be interred. Instead of, well, we have a memorial garden outside as well, um, but here you'll find niches with ashes in each one and a nameplate on the front. You can see we have a lot of niches and plenty of vacant ones. Though some of the vacant ones uh, have been reserved, sometimes in family groups. The grid, which is very necessary to he help us keep track. You'll see there's letters and numbers. B to W and up to number 182. So someone more proficient at maths than me might like to work out how many that is. A to W by 182. Technology, not every point on the matrix. It has a niche. So there you go. I have previously had a look around to see, you know, the oldest person interred here. He is a 94 year old. The youngest is always sad. The earliest interment. The 96 year old. So there are still some vacant niches. And like the church upstairs, it's full of beautiful windows, including some Easter themed ones that we felt were appropriate this week. So here's an appearance of the risen Christ. I believe that's the ascension. And again, Jesus' two-toned halo. Oh, this is one of my favourite windows. Mary Magdalene meeting Jesus in the garden on Easter morning. You see it says Rabboni, which was how she greeted him. In the centre behind the altar, remember the sketch or the official term is cartoon that I showed you in the Lady Chapel of Jesus healing Jairus' daughter. Well, here you can see the finished window. And next to her is her parents. Many of the windows in here are related to the theme of healing. You'll see here's Jesus healing a man who couldn't walk. And another Easter window Jesus being taken down from the cross. Skipping down to the back again, here are four windows uh, representing the evangelists. So we have St. Matthew and his icon above of the human face. St. Mark was represented by a lion. St. Luke with his bull. And St. John with the eagle. All of these windows are donated in memory of various loved ones, as most of our windows are. That's the way churches afford such beautiful gifts. For instance, here's a sweet one, a little bit sad. See a young boy with animals trees and the inscription says in memory of Timothy aged 21 months he loved all things bright and beautiful and here is the memorial garden you can see it's located just behind the hall and is a lovely outdoor place for reflection if you can't 
get into the church or want to stay in the fresh air. And you'll see around the edges of the garden beds are more plaques for those who are interned here. And if you look very closely, the garden beds are in the shape of a cross. So there you have it, the All Souls Chapel and Columbarium and Memorial Garden. I hope you've enjoyed this week's e-tour and I'll see you next time.